most affordable bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused, that's what you can expect at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. Winter Gymnasium bringing you model basketball here on WLAQ on the radio and also on the live video stream. Glad to have you with us. Got about 30 seconds until in between game time expires and we get ready to give you the starting lineups after our national anthem and all the pregame festivities take place. And again, just want to welcome you into the broadcast as we get ready to bring you live coverage of model Lady Devils and the Fannin County Lady Rebels here on WLAQ and the live video stream. So anyway, uh, just again, just to kind of recap what we've been talking about so far, model comes into this game with a five and three record in seven double A. They and then meanwhile, the Lady Rebels are six and one in region seven double A play. So you're looking at the number three team in the region and the model Lady Devils and the number two team squaring off here inside of Woodard Gymnasium. Well, let's go ahead and have the announcements and the national anthem, and then we'll get you ready for the starting lineups and the ball game.
our national anthem. Opportunity to thank Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales for being our presenting sponsor of the radio portion of the broadcast. Also sponsors of the live video coverage on the YouTube channel from Northwest Georgia Media. Starting lineups for tonight's game. We're going to start with the Fanning County Lady Rebels. Their head coach is Ryan Chastain. And we're going to start with number one, Courtney Davis. She is a junior, 5'6". Number two, Ellie Cook. She is a 5'9 senior. Number five, Reagan O'Neill. She is a 5'7 senior. Number 20, Ava Queen. She is a 5'10 senior. And then number 22, visiting Fannin County Lady Rebels. And if you've watched this team play, Davis, unbelievable shooter here on this basketball team. We've been watching her over the last few years since she was a in the starting lineup tonight. Also number 20, Morgan Wood, a senior. Number 23, Eva Pointer. Samples a freshman. And then number 30, Sadie Ronton. She is a sophomore. And gymnasium, high school hoops on a Tuesday evening. Can't think of anywhere I'd rather be. No question about it. Well, it looks like for the Lady Rebels, they will line up with number 20, Ava Queen in the circle. Both teams making their way out on the floor. I'll go ahead and let you know for the folks listening on the radio that can't see will be your eyes tonight, but the Lady Rebels come in with their black road uniforms with blue and white trim. White letters and numbers. Nice crisp numbers, easy to read. There's the Forty-four left to go here in the first quarter, and the Lady Rebels draw first blood. Second shot is on the way. That's going to convert the three-point play. It's three to zero to start the game. Lady Blue Devils try to work it back the other way. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds by the Lady Rebels, so it's going to stay with Model as they get ready to inbound the basketball, trailing by three points. Model tosses it into the backcourt. They get it into Morgan Wood. She's going to bring it across the center court stripe. Gives it off to the right wing side and samples. They feed it to the high post. Now back out to the right wing side as samples. Loses the handle. Ball is kept in bat. Well, no, it's going to be out of bounds on the Lady Rebels. So it's going to stay with model. They'll get set to inbound the ball underneath their own basket. To trigger things in motion is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. She surveys the floor, trying to find an open teammate to feed the ball to, and that takes too much time. So a violation, a turnover for models. They can't get the ball inbounds on their side of the floor. It's coming back to the Lady Rebels. 7.26 left to go in the first quarter. Bannon opened up the ball game with a two-point bucket and a foul and a three-point play. So they lead it right now 3-0. to zero. They work it out to the top of the perimeter. A three-point look. That's going to bang hard off the back of the rim. The long rebound goes to Rachel Burkhalter. She dribbles across the center court, striping off the left wing side. Nice crisp pass up to the top of the key to Samples. She drives towards the lane, tries to leave it down low for a pointer. The ball's going to be picked off, and here come the Lady Rebels back the other end of the floor. They work it off the left wing. Now to the low block. That's going to go over everything. Pulling it down is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. She's across the center court, stripe. Takes a hard look around the floor, gives it off to Samples, who's going to back up and set up the offense here for Model. They fire it off to the right wing side to Wood, to the high post. They go to Rotten. She tries to get it underneath the pointer. And again, a pass is going to be picked off. Here come the Lady Rebels down the other end of the floor. Courtney Davis around. They go to the top of the key, end of the paint. Kind of a wild shot, and that's going to be a bucket made for the Lady Rebels and a foul. 
Rachel Burkhalter picks up the foul. Basket was made by number five, Reagan O'Neill, and she's got a three-point opportunity. That's going to go off the rim. Score remains five to zero. So the Red Lady Rebs have opened up the game with a 5-0 run. Model brings it down the other floor. Samples has got it in between the circles. Now she'll fire it to the left wing side to Morgan Wood. Looking around, she's going to go back up top to Burkhalter. Burkhalter around to Samples now on the right wing side. They fire it inside to Pointer. Pointer kicks it back out. There's Rotten from around the free throw line. That's going to be a miss. Battle for the rebound, and a jump ball is going to be forced. Pointer did a great job grabbing hold of the ball, and a player from the Rebels came in and grabbed it as well. So this time the possession arrow points the Lady Rebels' way, so they'll work the ball in. They roll it into Courtney Davis, the junior guard, who's going to bring it up the floor. With just under six minutes to play in the first quarter, and Fannin leading it 5-0. to zero. Three pointer on the way. That's off the back of the rim. Stays with the Lady Rebels. Courtney Davis has got it, and she is going to put it off the glass and through. Her first bucket of the game at 7-0. Fannin County, who comes in 14-6. Going to be a steal on the other side as the Devils try to get it down low. Bringing it across the floor is going to be O'Neill. She fires to the right wing side. They'll drive baseline, a kick out, and a three-point shot on the way. That one's off the front of the rim. Long rebound does go to the Rebels. They try to bounce it underneath. Ball is picked up in the paint and that's a double dribble so that'll be a turnover here for the lady rebels it's coming back to model Fannin county's opened up a 7-0 run and coach Eccles has decided it's time to regroup so we're going to do the same thing 521 left to go in the first quarter Fannin county seven model zero back in 30 seconds Model inbounds the ball right out after the timeout. Betts has got it now to Rotten. She'll put up a shot from just beyond the or in front of the free throw line. Misses. Model having a hard time getting the lid off the basket early in this game. There's Courtney Davis transition bucket on the other end. Her second of the game. It's a 9-0 run to start the game for Fannin County. Model having a little bit of trouble getting it down the floor. Samples has got it across the center court stripe. They'll set up the half-court offense. She dribbles right, leaves it off for Rotten on the right wing side. She's double teamed. She dribbles back up top, leaves it off for Burkhalter, and there's going to be a foul that's going to go against the Lady Rebels. Ava Queen's going to be charged with that foul. That one's on the floor, so the Lady Devils get ready to inbound the ball underneath their basket. Checking in for Morgan Woods going to be Julia Shinholster, so she's into the basketball for the first time today. They'll bounce it into August Betts. Betts dribbles to the low block, double teams, gonna bounce it across to Rotten here on the near side, goes into the paint, puts up a little floater, misses the shot. Ball is kept in bounds. Here's a shot off the glass and through. And finally, Model is gonna have their first bucket of the game. The score is nine to two. So a 9-0 run is stopped at just that. 424 left to go in the first quarter, almost halfway through our first period of the game. They kick it out to the right wing side. That's a long three and yes, it is through. Riley Rees picks up her first bucket. And now it's 12 to two, a 10 point lead here for Fannin County. Model on the other end, shots blocked. The block was from Ellie Cook. They'll bring it up the floor. Now they got it right into the paint. A kick out, Courtney Davis wide open three, and that one's gonna go off the back of the rim. Long rebounds though is gonna go to the Lady Rebels. Ball nearly poked loose. Stays with the Lady Rebels. Davis with it, puts up a little runner, and that one's gonna come off the back of the rim, won't go. Samples has got the rebound. She'll get it down to Rachel Burkhalter, who is now standing in front of the Fannin County bench. Working from right to left. Now puts up a shot from just in front of the free throw line. Misses, but draws the contact. So Rachel Burkhalter's going to the free throw line here for the Lady Devils. So Burkhalter at the charity stripe here for the first time of the game. As a matter of fact, there's gonna be the first free throws of the game here for Model. Shots on the way, that one's off the back of the rim. She'll get ready for her second as more subs come into the game. Checking in for Sadie Rotten is gonna be Tamaya Ragland for the Lady Devils. 
Number 24, Jaden Bailey just checked in here for Fannin County. One more free throw coming up here for Rachel Burkhalter. Second one is going to carry him off the rim. It'll be picked up by, I will catch her name in a second. I didn't have her on my original roster. We'll go back to another one. Lady Rebels with the basketball into the paint. Ball's going to be nearly poked loose. It stays with the Lady Rebs. Block shot attempt. And the ball's coming back to the model Lady Devils as it's out of bounds on the Lady Rebels. Riley Sims checks in for Rachel Burkhalter. So on the floor right now for the Lady Devils, you've got Samples, Shinholster, Raglan. Betts has got the ball, passing it right now to Sims. Raglan now with the ball on the left wing side. They're going to go back up top, reset the offense. Raglan back to or samples back to Raglan, rather. Easy for me to say. That's poked out of bounds by Courtney Davis getting her hands in there. And we get ready for the Lady Devils to inbound the ball on their side of the floor from the sidelines on the near side. Raglan looks around, tosses it into Sims. She'll dribble up between the circles. Now fires back to left wing side and samples who goes right into the paint, puts it off the glass too strong. Rebound's going to be taken by the Lady Rebels. They'll chase it down, keep it in bounds. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Courtney Davis. She turns on the Jets as she goes across center court. Bounce pass underneath. Shot off the glass and through. That was Ava Queen with her first bucket of the game. 14 to 2, your score. Motto with it on the other end, raggling at a bounce pass underneath the Betts. And she's going to go out of bounds with it, trying to keep it in bounds. So it's coming back to the Lady Rebels. They lead it by 12 with 234 remaining in the first quarter of the ball game. Ellie Cook surveys the floor, is going to find Reagan O'Neill, who's going to bring it up the floor here for Fannin County. They're across the center court stripe. They send it to the top of the key. Now a wide open three point looks on the way and that one's gonna be off the front of the rim. Here's the put back and that is gonna go. Timeout is gonna be called by Coach Eccles. We're gonna do the same thing. 2.20 left to go here in the first quarter. Model trails at home 16 to two to Fannin County. We're back in 30 seconds. You belong at Georgia Highlands College. Helping you achieve your college and career goals is important to us because your success matters at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. All right, we welcome you back in to Woodard Gymnasium. I'll go ahead and let you know that last bucket that was made by Fannin County had to do a roster check there. It was Macy Hawkins, number 32. So we got 2.20 left to go here in the first quarter. Coach Eccles has already had to call two timeouts in the first five minutes and 40 seconds of the game to try to rally the troops here as they are down 16 to two. Shinholster's gonna send it in to Raglan. Now back over to Samples on the near side to Briley Sims. They will try to work around some pressure. They get it across the center court in between the circles. Now off to Shinholster, tries to fire it over to Samples. The ball gets poked out of bounds on the deflection by Reagan O'Neill. Lady Rebels defense making things very difficult for the Lady Devils here to start this basketball game. Raglan with it at the top of the key, sends it over to Shinholster. Quick pass to Sims down low. She's covered up. Now they go back to Shinholster. Now on to Raglan. She tries to get it to Betts at the high post. The ball's going to be stolen away as the pass was intercepted. Here come the Lady Rebels down the other end of the floor. They're going to leave it off the left wing side. Fired underneath. Ball stolen away. Model comes out with it. Raglan's got it across the center court stripe, a bounce pass to the left wing side. They try to bounce it underneath to August Betts and it ricochets off her and out of bounds and it's coming back to Fannin County. Substitutions into the game here for Model, checking back in Eva Pointer and also Rachel Burkhalter. Lady Rebs to bring it up the floor with 132 remaining here in the first quarter and Fannin leading this one 16 to two. 14 point lead and that's a three pointer it's certainly going in. Ellie Cook knocks another one down. It's 19 to two with 120 left to go in the first quarter. Things are getting out of hand here early. Sims is going to put it off the glass too strong. Here's the put back for Pointer. That one rolls off the rim. 
And a jump ball is going to be forced. This time the possession arrow is with the Lady Devils. So they're going to keep the ball on their end of the floor. Lady Devils have only had one field goal here in this basketball game. That was samples early on in the quarter. Shin Holster is going to leave it off for Betts. Now back to Shin Holster on the left wing side. They go to Burke Halter. Dribbles a couple of times. Dribbles left. Now tries to lob it underneath the pointer. Ball is going to be picked off. And she travels. So this one's coming right back to Model. And Model has been trying to get the ball inside to Pointer multiple times. They've only really been able to do that once or twice in this game. All the others have been picked off. They get it into Pointer, kick it out to the right wing side to Sims, shakes off a defender. Now she's double teamed, kicks it back out to an open. Burke Halter, three pointer on the way. That's going to carry him off the rim. His shin holster with a putback. She knocks that one through, and now it's a 19 to 4 ball game with 36 seconds left to go on the clock. Lady Rebels will bring it up the floor. They're across the center court stripe. Model trying to tighten the screws on defense here on the other end. They work around. Shot is off the rim. Won't go. Rebound's going to go to Shin Holster. She'll bring it back the other way. Across the center court stripe she goes. Dribbles off the left wing side. Picks up her dribble and then tries to heave it to another player. This is a transition bucket off the turnover. Ellie Cook makes them pay with an easy layup. Eight seconds left to go in the first quarter, 21-4 Fannin. Ball nearly stolen away. Betts has got it one-on-one -on -one underneath. Spins around, nifty move. Couldn't get the finish, and that is the end of the first quarter, and a tough one it was for the Model Lady Devils. Right now, Fannin County on top, 21-4 to at the end of the first quarter. We'll send it back to the studio for a one-minute timeout. We're back for the second quarter after these messages. All right, we welcome you back live here inside the Woodard Gymnasium. Coverage of high school basketball here tonight presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales. And we are underway here with the start of the second quarter. Bringing it across the center court stripes going to be Courtney Davis for the Lady Rebels. They go to the low block, try to kick it out to the left wing side. Now they'll dribble back up top with it. Now go towards the paint, a kick out. Thought she might have an open look there, decided not to shoot. Now the ball's going to be nearly stolen away as they pass it in the paint, but a jump ball is going to be forced, and it's coming back to the Lady Devils. Triggering things in motion is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. Now they go to the left wing side. We're going to have a whistle that goes against model, so it's coming back to the Lady Rebels. Lady Rebels will inbound the ball. They go off to the left wing side in front of the model bench. Now they'll back up around center court, go to the top of the key. Losing the handle for a moment, she'll retain possession of the basketball. Courtney Davis has got it at the top of the key. Steps back, puts up the three, and that one's off the rim. Rebound's going to be taken by Briley Sims. She'll motor across the other side of the floor, leaves it off for Burke Halter. Long range shot, not in three point distance. It's going to be missed. Here's the put back for Sims. That's off the side of the rim. Another look there for Samples. Can't get it to go. And finally, a foul is going to be charged as Samples hits the deck. So it looks like free throws coming up here for the Lady Devils. Foul is going to be on Ava Queen. Rachel Burkhalter gets set to inbound the ball here for the Lady Devils. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
All right, folks, the shot is on the way. That's from Sadie Rotten. Makes the bucket. I apologize if I'm getting a little distracted. We're having some issues at the radio station keeping connected again tonight. And so I'm trying to get us connected back at the radio studio and call the game at the same time. Courtney Davis set to trigger things in motion. Gets it in to teammate Macy Hawkins. Now they'll go on to Ellie Cook. She's across the center court stripe. And that's a turnover. So Model brings it across the center court stripe. Ball's poked loose, and it's stolen away. Here comes Courtney Davis into the paint, heaves it towards the basket, and then she scores. Courtney Davis scores. Now we're going the other way. Briley Sims, Rachel Burkhalter's got it on the left wing side. Now back up top to Morgan Wood. She'll drive the low block, kicks it out. Briley Sims got it, takes a couple steps forward, puts it up. He's going to miss everything there. Lady Rebels have got the ball. They pass it across court to Courtney Davis, wide open underneath, off the glass, and scoring is going to be number 22, Riley Reeves, her second bucket of the game. Six minutes left to go in the ball game. Fannin leads it, or in the first half, rather. Fannin will heave it towards the bucket. It's pulled down by Briley Sims. She's across the center court strike. Now she'll leave it off for Morgan Wood. Wood on to Sadie Rotten at the top of the key. Try to feed it underneath to a cutting Burkhalter. She loses the handle. It goes out of bounds. We apologize, but we lost our connection with the radio there for a while. It looks like it's back on now. We apologize. We're having internet issues at the station that we are having very big problems resolving and just having a hard time keeping these games on the air over the last month or so. And we sincerely apologize for that. We hope to have that worked out uh, shortly. But we're going to take a timeout. We're back in 30 seconds. We welcome you back in to Woodard Gymnasium on WLAQ AM 1410 96.9 FM. Live coverage of model basketball presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales. And right now, model really struggling in this basketball game. They're down 25 to 6 with 539 left to go in the second quarter as the Lady Rebels get ready to inbound the basketball and bring it up the floor as we resume play here in the second quarter. And again, this has just been a tough quarter and not quite a half for the Model Lady Devils. They fire it to the right wing side, long range three. That one's through. Second three made by Riley Reeves. Morgan Wood's gonna bounce it off to Samples. Samples is tied up between two defenders, gets it to Sadie Rotten. She dribbles to the top of the key, feeds it underneath, and the shot is through for Rachel Burkhalter, just what the doctor ordered as Model cuts it to a 28-8 game, 5.06. Model has got to get a couple of stops here. Can't be trading baskets down 28-8. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Foul's going to be on Riley Sims, and now we're going to see Courtney Davis well, you're going to see the Lady Rebels inbound the basketball here with a big lead. They're going to feed it in to the right wing side. Thought about the three. Now she's going to turn around, dribble towards the low block, loses the handle. Ball is going to be tipped out of bounds by Model, so it's going to stay with Fannin County. Fannin County's had a tremendous amount of success in recent years. We'll talk about that as we go along throughout the broadcast. But last year, they were a 26-3 and team that made it to the quarterfinals. And the year before that, in 2021, they were the state runner-up. So they've had a good run as of late. Shots on the way, and that one is through for number five, Reagan O'Neill, who's at the charity strike.
We get ready for the second free throw after she made the first. That one rattles around the rim and off. The rebound's going to be picked up by Model. They go the other way. Shin Holster feeds underneath the pointer. That one's in and out. Can't get it to go. They go to the right wing side to Burke Halter. Now Sadie Rotten puts up the quick shot. It's missed. And again, Model, when they do get looks in this game, are just having a terrible difficulty getting the lid off the basket. And sometimes you just have nights where no matter what you do, you get it to the rim, but you just can't get it to go through. And when you're playing against a team like Fannin County that's had such a great year, 14 and six, six and one in region play, the shots have got to be falling if you're going to have a chance. There's a little floater. That's missed. Rebound put back. That's going to go off the rim. And coming out with it will be Shin Holster for Model. Motors the other way, collides with a fan and defender. And that's going to be a foul. A number two, Ellie Cook of the Lady Rebels. With 4.17 left to go in the second quarter. And the Lady Rebels leading this one 29 to 8. 21 point lead, bringing it across the center court stripe as Samples. Now gives it on to Shin Holster. She's at the top of the key. A bounce over to Burke Halter. Goes into the paint. Nice move towards the bucket, and she scores. Rachel Burkhalter with her second basket, both of them in the second quarter, and Model tries to chip away. But again, on the other end, they've got to find a way to prevent Fannin County from scoring. Here comes Courtney Davis. A lot easier said than done. Long range three, that one's off the glass and through for Macy Hawkins. That moves the score to 32 to 10, a 22 point lead for Fannin County. There's Sadie Rock, nice bounce pass underneath to Julia Schenholster gets fouled on a ray up, so she's going to go to the free throw line. No, actually, that's going to be a clean block and out of bounds. Meaning that Model will inbound the ball underneath their own basket. They bounce it into Pointer on the left wing side, back up top to Schenholster. She dribbles, backs up between the circles, and they'll reset their offense. Over to Samples they go. Fakes goes in. Foul's going to be on Courtney Davis as we get ready for Burke Halter to feed the ball in here for the Lady Devils. She'll bounce it into Sadie Rotten, who goes out to the right wing side. Picks up her dribble, a bounce over to Burke Halter. Drives towards the paint, loses the handle. She'll back out, puts up the long range three. That's off the glass, won't go. Rebound's going to be taken by Bailey. Stolen away. Here's Model with it on the other end. Long range three, that caroms off the rim. Davis, cross court pass. Underneath, thought the glass and through. That was Riley Reeves knocking down another bucket, 34 to 10. And the timeout's going to be called by Sally Eccles and the model Lady Devils. We'll take one as well. Right now, Fannin County on top, 34 to 10, 258 left to go in the second quarter. We're back in 30 seconds. The most affordable bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused. That's what you can expect at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. All right, folks, welcome back in. Live hoops coverage here on WLAQ AM 1410 96.9 FM. Online at WLAQ1410.com and the live YouTube stream produced by Northwest Georgia Media. Everything tonight presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales. Great folks, and if you're in the market for a tractor or any implements or anything related to that sort of thing, trailers, all that good stuff, you need to go see the Mathis family Great people, they'll take care of you, no doubt about it. They'll treat you like you're their family. And that's what you want. Raglan across the samples. Model has the ball, trying to regroup after a timeout. It has been tough sledding for the Lady Devils here in this basketball game. Substitute coming in here for Fannin County is gonna be Reagan O'Neill. She checks in for Courtney Davis. And Model will inbound the ball in front of the scorer's table. They get it into Raglan. She'll fling it across over to Betts. Now back out to Raglan. Raglan dribbles towards the paint, tries to get it to the rack. Ball is going to be stolen away by the Lady Rebels. They'll bring it back the other way with 2.36 left to go on the half. They get an open look at a three. That one's going to be 
banging high off the rim. Rebound goes to Betts, and the Lady Devils bring it back the other end of the floor. Burke Halter tries to get it over to Samples, loses the handle, and that's going to be a turnover. Checking into the game for the Lady Rebels is going to be Callie Inslee with 2.23 left to go here in the second quarter, and the Lady Rebels set to bring it back up the floor after the turnover for the Lady Devils. Bringing up the floor is going to be O'Neill. She's across the center court stripe, dribbles left. Leave it off to the left wing side. Now she goes back in front of the scorer's table. Signals the play call to her teammates, dribbles off to the right wing, leaves it off. Now they kick it back out to the top of the key, go towards the paint. Now back out around the perimeter. They fired inside. There's a shot, and that one's going to go in and out. Betts is there. An attempt to get the rebound is going to be poked out of bounds by the Lady Rebels, so it's coming back to the Lady Devils with 150 remaining in the second quarter and Fanon leading this game 34 to 10. Model working from right to left on your radio dial. They'll fire it up center court as they go across the center court stripe. Burkhalter underneath is in a lot of traffic. Tries to get it to the rack and gets fouled. We're going to see her going to the charity stripe for the second time of the basketball game. Missed her first two free throws in the game. Foul was on Riley Reeves. And the first shot's on the way. That bangs hard off the front of the rim. She'll get ready for her second free throw after some encouragement there from Pointer and also Betts. Trying to lift each other up right now. Shot is going to be through. Makes the second one. And the score moves to 34 to 11. Lady Rebels bring it up the floor. They dribble off towards the right wing side. Back up top they go around and a long range three. And that was going to go off the side of the backboard. Bringing it back the other way is going to be Pointer. And a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against number 22, Riley Reeves. Uh, Fannin County will get ready for Model to go back to the free throw line. Eva Pointer is going to be at the free throw line shooting one and one. So Pointer at the stripe here for the first time of the basketball game. And it's on the way. And that one's going to be through. She'll get ready for her second as she'll get the back end of the one and one. And every opportunity like this that Model gets when you're down this much, you get to the free throw line, an opportunity for points to the clock stop. Got to try to cash in, and she does. Makes them both. Eva Pointer does, and now it's 34 to 13. 124 left to go here in the second quarter. Fannin County goes the other way with it. They're going to kick it back out around the perimeter to Buck Hannon. She dribbles around the center court. Nope, now it's in the hands of Reagan O'Neill at the center court stripe, being guarded by Raglan. Lost the handle, goes into the paint. It's blocked. August Betts gets up there and bats it out of bounds. It looked like a spike in a volleyball game. And maybe that'll provide a little bit of spark here to this model team trying to climb back into the basketball game. Stays with Fannin County. They inbound the ball. Model trying to build some momentum here and get another stop. That helps the cause. Betts blocks another shot, keeps it in bounds, but it stays with Fannin. Another block shot. Three on this possession, and the model comes out with it. Morgan Wood to the left wing side. They go to Burke Halter. The bounce underneath the Betts turns around, kicks it back out. There's Pointer from the free throw line, knocks it down. And now Model's got a little something going here. 34 to 15, 40 seconds left on the clock in the second quarter. Here comes Fannin County down the other way. Morgan Wood deflects the ball out of bounds. Good defense on the other end. And from the reaction you're getting from the bench right now, Coach Eccles and the rest of the coaching staff and players from Model liking what they're seeing from their team right now over the last minute of the game. Shots up, it's missed. Pulling it down is going to be Pointer. Bringing it back up the other end of the floor is going to be Morgan Wood. Shot clock turned off. 25 seconds left in the half. Burke Halter feeds it to the left wing side. There's a quick shot from Raglan. A miss. Rebound goes to Bailey and Fannin County. The ball was nearly stolen away. It goes out of bounds on Fannin County. So it's coming back to Lady Devils with 15.6 left on the clock in the second quarter. Morgan Wood across center court after taking the inbound pass in the backcourt. Gives it off to Raglan. She's on the left wing side. Back up to Morgan Wood. Only five seconds left on the clock. They got to make a move, folks. They kick it back out. There's Ava Pointer, and time expires. Frustrating when you get that much time on an inbound pass and can't get a shot off before time expires to end the half. But that's what happened. 
and it was a tough first half for the Lady Devils. At the end of the first half, Fannin County leads this one here at the home of the Devils, 34 to 15 at halftime. Let's step out for three minutes. We'll be back. affordable bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused, that's what you can expect at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. Northwest Georgia Media would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of this year's live stream. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialist. We would also like to acknowledge those who have made contributions to support this year's live stream. If you would like to support live streaming Blue Devil Basketball, please consider making a donation by scanning the QR code that's on your screen now. Or if you're a business and would like to advertise with Northwest Georgia Media, or if you would just like information on our company, please send an email to info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for your support. We're on the campus of Model High School. We're going to break down the scoring from the first half of the basketball game. The second quarter was a good bit better for the Model Lady Devils, but they still got a big hill to climb to get back into this game. Uh, dug themselves quite a big hole as we get ready for the start of the third quarter to happen in about six minutes and about 50 seconds. So we'll go ahead and run down the scoring from the first half. We're going to start with the Model Lady Blue Devils at halftime. Fannin County leads the game 34 to 15, responsible for the 15 points for Model. We'll start with Julia Schenholster. She'd have two, four points for the pointer. Two points for Javia Samples, two points for Sadie Rotten, and then the leading score for Model there in the first half of the basketball game was Rachel Burkhalter, who had a big second quarter with five points, and that is her total at the end of a half of play. For the Fannin County Lady Rebels, they had a lot of offensive production there in the first half. You'd have six points from Courtney Davis. Ellie Cook would have eight points, three points for Reagan O'Neill, two points for Ava Queen, five points for Macy Hawkins off the bench, and then Riley Reeves would end up with 10 points uh, there in the first half of the basketball game, and all that should total up to their 34. Model would be outscored in the first quarter, 21 to four. They were only outscored 13 to 11 in the second quarter, so that's certainly something worth pointing out about in terms of the trend of the basketball game. But again, you know, they're in a situation here where they're going to have to get some stops against a really, really prolific offensive basketball team, team that comes in scoring close to 60 points a game. They don't give up a whole lot either. So that, again, just a massive hill to climb coming up here in the second half. So what do you do in that situation? Well, when you get opportunities on the offensive side of the floor, it's really simple. They got to score. And then on the other end, they got to find a way to clamp down, not give any looks to this Fannin County uh, Lady Rebels basketball team, get some stops here in this 
this basketball game to try to climb back into the game. They cannot trade buckets there in the second half, and there just won't be any opening to, to get back in the game. So, anyway, there's my oversimplistic look. <laughs> of what's got to happen for Model Lady Devils to get back into the game coming up in the second half. And we're going to go ahead and take another break here on our halftime show. We're glad you're with us tonight. Model Hoops on WLAQ and also the live stream. We're going to step out for three minutes down the line, three minutes down the line, then we'll get you set up here and ready for the second half between the Model Lady Devils and the Fannin County Lady Rebels. And halftime. It's 34 to 15 in favor of the visiting Fannin County Later Rebels. We are back in three minutes on WLAQ. for a second half and if you've been listening in um, you know that this is a pretty big hole for the Lady Devils to climb out of 34 to 15 at halftime not insurmountable but against a team that is you know again as prolific on offense as this Fannin County team is it also plays really good defense they certainly have their work cut out for them tonight kind of let this one get away early in the first quarter getting outscored 21 to 4 in the uh, second quarter of the basketball game tighten things up quite a bit and uh, and only got outscored 13 to 11. But by that time, again, already a big lead in the game for the Fannin County Lady Rebels. And hopefully um, that won't be reflected in the final score of this basketball game. But things not looking good early in this game. But a whole half to go. And uh, we'll see what happens. Sometimes basketball can be a game of runs. And if Model can get out there to start the second, uh, the third quarter, rather, and put together a big run, they can climb back into this thing. And let's see if they can do it. Looking forward to it. But anyway, at halftime, with halftime just about to expire, Fannin is up 34 to 15. 
and both teams have had opportunity at halftime to talk things over, make any necessary adjustments that they need to make as they get ready to come out of the uh, locker room to start the second half, and we're just about ready to roll inside the Woodard Gymnasium. And again, I want to apologize for some of the technical difficulties that we've had on the radio end. I understand we've also had some difficulties on the video, and it's one of those things. Uh, so you hope all the technology works for you, but there's just some days where you have a hard time holding the thing together. You need MacGyver to come out with like a, uh, a Q-tip, a uh, model's got the basketball, a Kleenex, and maybe a paper clip and hold things together, but he's not available tonight. There's a shot. That's off the rim. For the Model Lady Devils, they missed the first bucket. And now the Lady Rebels come out with it and bring it back the other way. Courtney Davis is across the center court stripe, fires it out to the right wing side, wide open three-point shot. That bangs high off the rim and over the backboard, so this is coming back to the Lady Devils. So nobody has scored here in our second half in the early seconds of the second half so far. Burkhalter triggers it in, gets it to Samples. Now to Morgan Wood. She'll try to work around a little bit of pressure here from the Lady Rebels. Half-court trap. They get it around. Now Samples has got it. Dribbles into the paint. Nice move towards the bucket and through. So Tamaya Raglan gets the first bucket of the second half. And Model opens up the half with a 2-0 run, and it's 34-17. You just got to keep chopping here and chipping away at the scoreboard, try to get back in the game. But you have to have stops, and there is one. Rachel Burkhalter steals the pass. She's on the other end, puts it up, misses the layup. And the ball goes back with Fannin County. They'll bring it back the other way. Courtney Davis has got it across the center court stripe, dribbles off to the left side. Davis at the free throw line, bounces it to a teammate. They go right to the low block, too strong off the glass. Model's got it, and they'll come back the other way. Morgan Wood spins around, goes across the center court stripe. It goes off the foot of Rachel Burkhalter, thankfully into the hands of Morgan Wood. Over to Raglan, dribbles baseline, jump shot. That one's over the bucket, and ball has kept it in bounds, but Lady Rebels come out with it. Courtney Davis one-on-one -on -one with Raglan. Underhanded on the layup and scores. Courtney Davis has the first bucket of the second half for Fannin County. It's 36 to 17. Morgan Wood with it. Fires at a crisp pass off to the right wing side to Rachel Burkhalter. Bounces it back to Wood. She goes to around the free throw line. Lobs underneath the bets. She gets blocked. And a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against the Lady Rebels, I believe, on the floor. Now was charged on number 22, Riley Reeves. She's got to be in foul trouble. I think she's got three. Burkhalter checks out of the game. Sims is in. So on the floor right now for the Lady Devils, you're going to have Sims, Betts, Raglan, Wood, and Javius Samples on the right wing side with the basketball. Bounces or tries to bounce underneath the bets. It's stolen away by Macy Hawkins. Intercepts the pass. Bringing it back the other way is O'Neill. She's across the center court stripe. Leaves it off for Cook. Cook on to Davis. She drives towards the basket. Kicks it out. Wide open three on the way. And that's going to bang hard off the rim. Sims is there for the long rebound. Feeds it across to Raglan. One-on-one -on -one underneath with Davis. And that goes off the backboard. And Davis comes out with it. So the Lady Rebels will bring it back the other way with 5.15 left to go in the third quarter. And the score at 36-17 to in favor of Fannin County visiting model tonight. The Lady Rebels with the basketball. The free throw line. They kick it off the left wing side. Now they'll lob it to the left wing. Now to the low block they go. Ball's not loose. Model comes out with it. Raglan's got it. She dribbles quickly on the other end of the floor. Challenges Davis underneath and scores. Tamaya Raglan with a bucket. 36 to 19, your score. Model outscoring Fannin County 4 to 2 in the early goings here of the second half. Across the center court stripe is going to be Davis. Davis will try to dribble around the high screen. Goes to the low block. Underhanded layup is through and the contact here for Davis. She's got a three-point opportunity coming up. It's 36 to 38 to 19 in favor of Fannin County. Sadie Rotten is going to check into the game for Briley Sims. Eva Pointer is into the game. Well, no. Yep, Eva Pointer is into the game here for Model for August Bet. So on the floor for Model, you got Sadie Rotten, Eva Pointer, Tamaya Raglan, 
Javia Samples and Morgan Wood at the free throw line now for Fannin County as Davis converting a three-point play successfully. 39 to 19, model trails by 20. Tamaya Raglan into the paint, puts it up. That one's too strong. Ball's knocked loose. It's kept in bounds by Samples. Goes to Morgan Wood. Model has it. They're at the top of the key. They fire it to the right wing side. Sadie Rotten's there. Now underneath to Raglan. Picks it up. Gives it off to Wood. That's off the back of the rim and through. Morgan Wood in her first bucket of the game. It's 39 to 21. 405 mark of the second or the third quarter rather. They go underneath. Fannin County does. Ball's knocked loose. Picked up by Raglan. Raglan across the stripe here for Model. She'll go coast to coast, puts it off the glass and through. Tamaya Raglan with three buckets, all of them in the third quarter. It's 39 to 23 as Model tries to climb back into this game that got away from him early in the first quarter. But they continue to battle. Courtney Davis across the center court stripe gives it to O'Neill. They go to the top of the key in an open three and she drills it. Good looking shot there from Ava Queen. Her first three-pointer of the game and a timeout on the floor is called. Fannin County 42, Model 23 when we come back after a 30-second timeout. You belong at Georgia Highlands College. Helping you achieve your college and career goals is important to us because your success matters at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. High school hoops on a Tuesday evening on WLAQ. Glad to have you with us. 3.32 left to go in the third quarter. Fannin County 42 to models 23. As we resume play out of the timeout, they get it to Porter on the right wing. Now hands it off to Raglan. Now, or samples to Raglan. Now on the left wing side, Morgan Wood for three. That's off the front of the rim. Rotten goes in to try to get the putback, gets fouled, and we're going to see her at the free throw line. Good job by Sadie to attack the rim after the missed shot and get to the free throw line and has a couple of shots coming up here. First shot's on the way and it is through. She'll get ready for her second free throw. 42 to 23 is your score. 316 or 42 to 24 rather with 316 left to go here in the third quarter. Checking back into the game is gonna be number 24, Jaden Bailey for the Lady Rebels. Sadie Rotten at the free throw line with another shot on the way and that one's going to go off the back of the rim but it does rattle through so she makes them both the score is now 42 to 25. The lady rebels will take the inbound pass they'll give it off to reagan o'neill now across the center court stripe goes davis into the paint underhand layup that one is through and it fears that she cannot miss that shot 44 to 25 your score three minutes to go in the third quarter here's raglan with our samples with it and a foul is going to go against the Blue Devils. So it's coming back to the Lady Rebels. Surveying the floor is going to be Bailey. A little bit of pressure here from Model. Ellie Cook bringing it up the floor now as the Model Blue Devils drop back on defense. Cook across the center court stripe sends a signal to the offense. They set a high screen. They go down to the low block. Davis tries to keep it in, bounces it off of a model player, so it's going to stay with the Lady Rebels as Julia Schenholster checks into the game here for the Lady Devils. So Lady Rebs set to inbound the basketball underneath their own basket, leading it 44 to 25 with 242 left to go here in the third quarter. Lady Rebels, another three-point attempt on the way. That one's high off the backboard and off the rim, won't go. Schenholster's got the long board, comes back the other way, goes right wing side, directing traffic, bounces it up to Samples at the top of the key. And she will dribble, now goes into the paint, puts up the shot, it goes off the side of the rim. Her putback's on the way, won't go. Rotten's there for another board and a putback, gets two shots at it, finally gets the second one to go. Sadie Rotten, aggressive underneath, 44 to 27 the score. 209 remains here in the third quarter. Courtney Davis across the center court stripe here for Fannin County, dribbles around a high screen and now kicks it out with the right wing side. Three-pointer on the way, that one misses everything, but the rebound is 
going to go to the Lady Rebels. They keep possession of the ball. Blocked shot by Eva Pointer. My goodness. Uh, knocked it out of bounds, so it's going to stay with the Lady Rebels. But that's the kind of a aggressive defense that you want to see on the other end there for Mama. Eva Pointer with the block. They're going to toss it in. Lady Rebels in an open three pointer off the inbound pass. It's a miss. Shen Holster comes out with the ball, brings it up the floor here for Mono, working left to right. And that's going to be a foul against Fannin County. Uh, Ellie. Ellie Cook is going to be charged with that foul as we get ready for Shen Holster to inbound the ball here for Mono. Checking into the game is going to be Riley Reeves here for Fannin County Rebels. There's a lob inside to Samples, puts up the quick shot off the inbound pass, bounces off the rim, rebound goes to Fannin County. They come out with it, they'll clear the lane. Bringing up the floor is going to be Bailey. Now he gives it off to Davis. She's now at the top of the key, goes right into the paint, tries to lay it in, misses it that time. And a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against Fannin County. And Model will get ready to inbound the basketball, trailing 44 to 27. Glad you're with us tonight on WLAQ and also the live video stream. We appreciate you tuning in. Shin Ulster bringing it up the floor here for the Model Lady Devils. She stops at the top of the key, sends it over to the left wing side, over to Rotten, now to Raglan. She'll dribble back up top. Ball is stolen away, getting her hands in there was O'Neal. And on the other side of the floor goes the Lady Rebels. They bounce it underneath to Davis. Easy layup for her. And she's having a big game and a big third quarter, 46 to 27. Lady Devils with it on the other end, dribbling baseline. They try to feed it underneath the pointer. Ball is stolen away. It's O'Neal again. They get it down low to Davis. Too strong on the layup attempt. Ball is out of control, stolen away. It's going to stay with Fannin County. They will stop around the top of the key and a foul is going to be charged to Julia Schindholster. Nope. No. I was incorrect about that. That's going to be on 24, Jaden Bailey. And evidently there was a technical foul. And right now officials sorting things out. One of the officials walks back over to the scorer's table, give the information over there. And we're going to see Sadie Rotten going to the free throw line here for the Lady Devils. So big opportunity here for the Lady Devils as they're going to have a couple of free throw shots and possession of the basketball. So if they can Take both free throws, get the ball back, and score again. I mean, you could see a four or five point swing here after that technical foul was called against the Lady Rebels. So Sadie Rotten at the free throw line. First shot's on the way. It's three. She's made three in a row. We'll get ready for her second free throw of the pair. The score moves to 46 to 28. Sadie Rotten with another free throw coming up. Shot's on the way. That one's off the front of the rim. And now the Lady Devils will get ready to inbound the basketball with 42.7 seconds left on the clock, trying to climb back into the game. They get it in to Raglan. Raglan dribbles off to the right wing side, leaves it off to Burke Halter, goes off her foot. She picks it back up, though, gives it back to Raglan. 34 seconds on the clock. Feeds it off to the right wing side. Three-point look for Rotten. That's going to carry him off the rim. Picked up by number 24, Bailey of Fannin County. They're going to send it cross court. Ball is deflected out of bounds by Raglan. Gets her hands up there and knocks it out. So it's going to stay with the Lady Rebels, but great effort there by Raglan. Lady Rebels inbound the basketball. They've got it underneath. Ball is going to stay with the Lady Rebels. Jaden Bailey set to trigger things in motion here for the visiting Fannin County team. They get it off to the right wing side to open up their offensive set. Try to feed it up top, stolen away. Here's an opportunity for a transition bucket off the glass. Too strong for samples, but it stays with model. Put back is not going to go. 
Staples is there for the rebound, and the foul's going to be charged. We're going to get the Lady Rebels for this one. Going to the free throw line is going to be Javia Samples. So two shots coming up for Samples with 3.4 seconds left on the clock here in the third quarter. First shot on the way. That's going to tear him off the rim. So get ready for Javia's second free throw of the pair. This is the first one. Samples dribbles a couple of times, sends the next free throw on the way, and that one is through her first made free throw of the game. 46 to 29, two seconds on the clock in the third quarter. Here's Davis, won't shoot before time expires, and that's the end of your third quarter. So at the end of three, Fannin County still on top. They've led wire to wire. 46 to 29 is your score at the end of the third quarter. We're back for the final frame after these messages back in one minute. Model with the ball as we start the final eight minutes of the ball game. Sadie Rotten in the paint, puts it up, a little floater. It is missed with the rebound. It's going to be Queen. She's going to toss it to her teammate, Ellie Cook, who's going to bring it across the center court stripe here for Fannin County. Davis has got it, and a foul is going to be charged against Model. Going to get Javia Samples with the foul there as Lady Rebels will inbound the ball off the inbound pass. A wide open three. That one's going to go banging high off the back of the rim. Stays with the Lady Rebels. Another three point attempt, and that one is good from Courtney Davis. My goodness. Davis having a whale of a game. She's got 18 points, got off to a little bit of a slow start, and then just exploded offensively in the third quarter of the ball game. Sadie Rotten with it. Three pointer on the other end is good. Sadie Rotten now with 10 points. Model not giving up. 49 to 32, 7 11 left to go here in the ball game. They'll bring it across the center court stripe now onto Davis, and a foul is going to be charged against Rachel Burkhalter. She banged into Courtney Davis. August Betts checks into the game for Eva Pointer. On the floor for Model here, you're going to have Burkhalter. Betts, Raglan, Rotten, and Sample shot on the way. And that was on Davis, an offensive foul, so the shot does not count, and Model will get set to bring it back the other way. Burkhalter into Javia Samples. Now back to Burkhalter, on to Raglan, who stands on the right wing side with it. Now leaves it off for Betts, goes into the paint, fires across to Sadie Rotten. Now back at the Burkhalter, now on to Rotten. Now across to Raglan, who drives towards the baseline, spins into the paint, tries to get a shot up to the rack. It is going to be peeled away by the defense. Here comes Lady Rebels back the other way, a bounce pass underneath, and they're going to kick it back out. There's a shot from just beyond or in front of the free throw line for Davis. She misses. Samples comes out with it. Ball is poked loose, but it's going to stay with the Lady Devils. Bounce pass underneath was intended for Burkhalter. It's picked off. And it's staying with the Blue Devils. Kick ball charged against the Lady Rebels, and they're going to send another player into the ball game. Checking in is going to be Riley Reeves. Checking out is going to be Macy Hawkins. All right, Burkhalter surveys the floor. He's going to bounce it into Raglan on the right wing side. They feed it back across up top to Rotten. Three-pointer on the way is going to be left short. Chases down her own board and gets fouled. So the ball is going to stay with the Lady Devils. 
foul was on Ava Queen. Ava Queen has picked up, I believe, her fourth of the basketball game. Ball is not loose. Fannin County's got it. They go right down to the low block. Nearly lose the handle shot is up and through for Courtney Davis. Davis has got 20 points in the ball game. 6.04 left to go, 51 to 32, Fannin County on top. They kick it out to Rotten. There's a three-point look. That one's going to bang hard off the rim. It'll be picked up by Fannin County. They lose the handle. Samples has got it. Bounces it to Betts. Underneath to Burkhalter. Can't get the shot to go. Great sequence on offense there for the Blue Devils. Can't get the shot to go, but Rachel Burkhalter is going to the free throw line with a couple of shots. So Burkhalter at the free throw line. Model trails at 51 to 32. 5.48 left to go in the fourth quarter. Shots on the way. That one's three. Model boys are going to play after this one. Going to be against Fannin County. And both teams have a very different season so far. Model boys 15-3 and three on the season. Meanwhile, Fannin is 2-17. and 17. Shot on the way, and that one is three. So Burkhalter knocks them both down. The score moves to 51-34 to with 5.48 left to go here in the ball game. Bringing it up the floor is going to be the Lady Rebels. Across the center court stripe is Cook. She'll slow up at the top of the key. Now goes to the paint, kicks it back out. Now they'll give it to the left wing side and O'Neill. She'll back up between the circles and reset the offense here for the Lady Rebels. Here's a wide open three-point shot, and that one's going to bang high off the rim, won't go. Look like the Devils were going to come down with the rebound. The ball rolls out of bounds. It's going to stay on the Lady Rebels side of the floor. Player for the Lady Rebels will tie her shoe real quick and we'll be ready to go. Now we are. She'll bounce it in. Ball is stolen away by Betts. She tries to roll it down to Sadie Rotten. Ball's going to be tied up between two players, one for each team, and that's a jump ball. It's going to stay on the Lady Rebels end of the floor. Riley Reeves to trigger it in motion here. They go into the paint on the inbound pass, turns around, misses everything, pulling it down as Burkhalter lost the handle on it, retains possession. Now on the other end, Sample stops and pops the three-point shot. That one's going to bang hot, high off the back of the rim. The Lady Rebels have got it on the other end, and an easy layup is made by Reagan O'Neill and another transition bucket here for the Lady Rebs. 53-34. 4.50 remaining in the ball game. Ball's going to roll out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Rebels on the other end. Briley Sims is going to check in for Rachel Burkhalter for the Model Lady Devils. Sadie Rotten surveys the floor. She'll bounce it into Sims on the right wing side. Now dribbles into the paint, kicks it out. There's Rotten for three. That's going to be knocked out of bounds by one of the Lady Rebels players. So it's going to stay with Model. Rotten looks for the open teammate, tries to bounce it in sharply to August Betts. It's going to be stolen away, got away from him. Now they go cross-court pass underneath. Dribbling the baseline is going to be Fannin County. Ball's going to be poked free out of bounds by Model. So it's going to be with the Lady Rebels. 4.32 remaining in the game. Fannin County 53, Model 34. And they will send it nearly into the backcourt to Ellie Cook, who's got it now at the top of the key, bounces it underneath. And they will kick it back out to the right wing side to a cutting player towards the basket. Ball stolen away. Samples comes out with it. She's across the center court strike, leaves it off for Briley Sims. Sims will try to heave it across to Rotten, leaves it for Samples, and the three-point shot is missed. Oh, here comes another transition bucket opportunity here for the Lady Rebels, and it's through for Ellie Cook. She has now 10 points, and Coach Eccles is going to call a timeout with 4.02 remaining in the final quarter of the ball game. Fannin County out to a 55-34 to lead, and we're back in 30 seconds.
402 remains in this basketball game. Region 7 AA showdown between the Model 80 Devils and the Fannin County Lady Rebels visiting here tonight from Blue Ridge. And they've had a tremendous amount of success the Lady Rebels have over the last several years. Uh, this year they're off to a 14 and 6 start, 6 and 1 in region play. They're about only behind Murray County in the region rankings at number two. Murray County's 8 0 in region play. They've won five games in a row. And the only region loss of the year for Fannin County was to Murray County, but they'll get to play them again later on in the season, I believe. Sims has got the basketball for model. They have it out of the timeout. Sims will bounce it over to Samples. Now back over to Sims. Sims turns, goes towards the paint, tries to find an open teammate, gets fouled. So 342 remaining here in the final quarter of the game. Fannin County up 55 to 34. And Briley Sims set to inbound the ball here for Model. Surveys the floor. He's going to bounce it across to the right wing side to Samples. Had a hard look at a three. Second thoughts. Goes into the paint. Puts it up. Gets it on the rim. And draws the foul. Samples missed the shot, but she is going to the free throw line. Samples is three of four from the charity stripe tonight. And she'll have two shots here. Sample sends the first one on the way. That one's off the back of the rim. She'll get ready for her second free throw as Betts and Pointer come over, give her a little bit of encouragement before the next shot. She makes this that a cut it to a 20 point ball game. Shots on the way, and that one is through. She makes that one, and it is a 20 point game. Fannin 55, model 35, 339 left to go in the game. So this one feels out of reach here for Model at this point of the game with 3.34 left. Manning County brings it back the other side of the floor, and I would imagine that they will be pretty deliberate with each possession to try to bleed out some of this clock and not leave any opening here for Model. They've got the ball dribbling around the perimeter. They kick it out, shakes off a defender, jacks up a three. That's off the side of the rim. Rebound's going to go to Pointer. And the Model Lady Devils are bringing up the other end of the floor. August Betts moving quick. She'll stop, gives it off to Pointer, puts up a little floater. That's off the back of the rim, won't fall. Rebound's going to be taken by the Lady Rebels. They'll slow up as they reach center court, or across center court, rather. Sample steals it away. Lady Devils go back the other way into the paint, and Samples gets fouled on her way up and is going to go to the free throw line. So Javia Samples attacking the rim and getting opportunities from the charity strike. Samples at the line, first shot's on the way. That one is going to rattle through. She'll get ready for her second. She's made two in a row. Sadie Rotten checks into the game for Tamaya Raglan. Javia Samples at the free throw line with another free throw coming up here for the Model Lady Devils with 2.53 left to go in the fourth quarter. Shot's on the way, and that one's off the side of the rim. Rebound goes to Fannin County. They'll bring it back the other way. They try to pass it underneath, and there's a foul underneath the basket. going to be on Briley Sims and going to the free throw line is going to be Ava Queen shooting two. So two shots on the way for Ava Queen for Fannin County. First one's on the way in three. She'll go for her second free throw. This is uh, her second free throw of the game as a matter of fact. First trip to the strike. Burkhalter checks into the game here for Model. Checking out Sims. Shots on the way, and that one is through as well. She makes them both. Ava Queen does. It's 57 to 37 in favor of Fannin County. They've led wire to wire. Samples sends it onto the right wing side to Rotten. She'll try to lob it underneath the pointer. That ball is deflected. It is going to be a jump ball. And the possession arrow is pointing in Model's direction, so it's going to stay on this end of the floor. With 2.35 left to go here in the fourth quarter of the ball game. Rachel Burkhalter standing on the baseline, getting ready to set things in motion here for the Lady Devils. They try to get it into Pointer. Ball is nearly stolen away by Fannin County. Pointer had the ball with her hand on it, but knocked it out of bounds, and it's coming back to Fannin. So the Lady Rebels set to inbound the ball in front of their bench and bring it up the floor. They'll inbound the, inbound the ball into the backcourt to Reagan O'Neill. O'Neill is going to dribble across the center court stripe. Now between the circles, tries to go around a high screen. Now dribbles out towards the 
scorer's table with 2.20 left to go. Fannin County with the ball in 57 to 36 lead. They send it to the left wing side, open three point look. That's going to be off the side of the rim. Rebound goes to Lady Rebels. Another three point attempt. That's off the side of the rim on the other side. They get their own rebound again. A third look won't go. Chasing down another board. A lot of offensive rebounds on this possession for the Lady Rebels. We're under two minutes to play, and they'll back up and set up their half court offense. Ellie Cook with it. Dribbles around the high post. Now they go to the around the free throw line. Try to send it to the right wing side. Ball is nearly poked loose. All right, Betts gets her hands in there and steals it away. And then a foul is going to be charged against Fannin County immediately with 144 left to go here in the game and model in the bonus. So we're going to see one and one, I believe, here for model. Substitutions coming into the game here for model. You're going to have Georgia Womack checking into the game. Also, Addie Mathis as well as Milan Howard. Javia Samples at the free throw line. Shooting one and one. First shot is made, so she'll get the back in. That cuts it to a 20-point ball game, 57 to 37, with 144 left to go in the fourth quarter. Samples at the stripe. She's been there a lot here in the fourth quarter. Second shot bounces high off the rim, off the top of the backboard. And a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against Fannin County. So more free throw shots coming up for the Model Lady Devils as they are in the bonus. One more foul and they'll be in the double bonus. But right now they remain in the one and one. And August Betts is standing at the free throw line. And we'll have some substitutions, it looks like, for both teams. On the floor for Model, you're going to have Womack, Mathis, Betts, Howard, and Burkhalter. One and one coming up for August Betts. This is her first free throw attempt of the basketball game. And the shot's on the way, and it goes off the back of the rim. Actually, she's got two shots here. And his model's in the double bonus. I thought they had one more, but I was incorrect. Second shot's on the way, and that one's off the back of the rim as well. Misses them both, and the rebound goes to Fannin County. They'll bring it back the other way with 140 left to go in the ball game and a 20-point deficit for the Model Lady Devils. Fannin County with the ball. They go to the low block, try to lay it in, miss the shot, hitting the deck, trying to get the rebound. Model comes out with it. They try to send it coast to coast. Pass is picked off by Ellie Cook. Got her hands in there and grabbed it. Here comes Fannin County back the other way. They will dribble into the paint, leave it off for Cook, puts it off the glass, misses. Rebound goes to Fannin County, and Addison Smith is going to be fouled, so we're going to see free throws for her coming up. Foul's going to be on Georgia Womack. And again, Addie, Addie Smith is going to be at the free throw line here for Fannin County. Dribbles the ball a couple of times, sends the shot on the way, and that one's going to be three. Kind of rattles in. More subs coming into the game. A couple for Fannin County. Check it in. You got Emma Holloway and also Maggie Ledford, the freshman, into the game. Second free throw on the way is good. She makes them both. Addison Smith, 58 to 37 is your score. Fannin County on top. 109 left to go in the ball game. There's a three-pointer on the other side by Georgia Womack. Good-looking shot. 59 to 40, that cuts it to 19 with under a minute to play. Fannin County will back their way across the center court stripe. Fannin with the basketball, dribbling with it is Hensley, and she hits the deck after being fouled. Good sportsmanship there with Burke Halter helping her up off the floor. More subs coming in the game for Fannin County. Check it in, you're gonna have Reese Lewis, and then also Avi Eddington. And we're going to see Ethington set things in motion on offense right out, right off the bench here for the Lady Rebels with 48.9 seconds left to go on the clock. They send it in. The inbound pass is going to be picked off. And a double dribble from Womack is going to turn it right back over to the Lady Rebels. It's Lady Rebels set to inbound the ball. To trigger it in, it's going to be Emma Holloway. They're going to get it into A.B. Ethington. 
They will dribble towards the low block, try to back their way into the paint, kicks it out. There's the three-point look. That one's going to go off the front of the rim. Long rebound picked up by August Betts. Passes across court to Womack. Pass got away from her. Now it's with the Fannin County Rebels. They turn, miss the shot. It's blocked, rather, and now Model's got it on the other end. Womack laying it in, picks up her second bucket of the game, having a big fourth quarter, 59 to 42, 13 seconds on the clock. Model stealing it away and getting fouled underneath. So we're going to see the Lady Devils going back to the free throw line as Rachel Burkhalter drew the contact. 11.9 seconds on the clock. So two shots coming up for Burkhalter where she's three of four. Uh, well, she's made two free throws here in the fourth quarter. Shots on the way. That one caroms off the rim. Get ready for her second free throw. So Burkhalter at the charity strike puts it up, and that one is going to rattle through. 59 to 43, 11.9 seconds on the clock. Bringing it up the floor here for the Lady Rebels is going to be Eddington. And it looks like they'll dribble out the final seconds. Five seconds on the clock. They'll hold the ball. Now back to Eddington up top of the key. And that is the end of the ball game. Model's going to fall on this one tonight. Fannin County, your winners. 59 to 43 after leading the game wire to wire. And that's going to put a wrap on this one. We're going to send it back to the studio for three minutes. We'll come back. We'll run down the scoring from our first game and begin to set the stage for the nightcap. It's model basketball presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales on WLAQ and also the live video stream produced by Northwest Georgia Media. We're back in three minutes. bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused. That's what you can expect at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. Northwest Georgia Media would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of this year's live stream. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialist. We would also like to acknowledge those who have made contributions to support this year's live stream. If you would like to support live streaming Blue Devil Basketball, please consider making a donation by scanning the QR code that's on your screen now. Or if you're a business and would like to advertise with Northwest Georgia Media, or if you would just like information on our company, please send an email to info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for your support.
All right, we welcome you back in to Woodard Gymnasium on the Model High School campus. Matt Davis bringing you play-by-play of high school hoops here on WLAQ, AM 1410, 96.9 FM, or online at WLAQ1410.com, as we do on a lot of Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and we're glad to be doing it. And also on the live video stream produced by Northwest Georgia Media, I do want to thank our presenting sponsor, Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, for making it possible for us to be here. And this is one of those games where Model really battled throughout the game, but it got away from them in the fourth quarter. They were down 21-4 to at the end of the first, and when you look at the final result, really the big difference in the game was that first quarter of the game. It just got away from them, and despite their best efforts to climb back in the game, game uh, they just couldn't get back in it and the final score was 59 to 43 they would lose by 16 so again down by 17 in the first quarter and they lose the game by 16 so I think that kind of tells you a lot of how that one went the rest of the way model very competitive in the final three quarters of the game but if you get down that much sometimes uh, going up against a good team like this in Fannin County the game has just gotten away from you so despite their be- best effort they could not get back in this ball game against a really, really good team. Fannin County improves their record to 15 and six overall. They are now seven and one in region seven double A play. Meanwhile, Model Lady Devils, they fall to 10 and eight on the season, five and four in region seven double A play. And we get ready to run down the scoring here from the ball game. Then we'll get you set for our second game of the evening. That's the Model Blue Devils and the Fanning County Rebels in a boys basketball game. But let's break down the scoring for the Model Lady Devils. Everything added up for me, so hopefully I've got it all in the right place. But Julia Schenholster got her with two points. Eight points for Rachel Burkhalter. Five points for Georgia Womack off the bench. Knocked down a couple of buckets there late in the ball game to help her team. Morgan Wood with two points, six points for Tamaya Raglan, all six in the third quarter. Four points for Eva Pointer, six points for Javia Samples. Uh, four of those were from the free throw line. And then the leading scorer tonight for the Model Lady Devils was Sadie Rotten. She would notch 10 points in the effort from the Model Lady Devils. Now for the victorious Fannin County Lady Rebels, Ellie Cook would pick up 10 points, five for Reagan O'Neill, seven points for Ava Queen, 10 points for Riley Reeves. Two points for Addison Smith from the free throw line. Five points for Macy Hawkins. And despite a fairly slow start by the standards that she set throughout her career, Courtney Davis does end up, after all, being the leading scorer in the basketball game. She scored six points in the first half, but she scored 14 in the second half for a game-high 20 points. So Courtney Davis, the leading scorer of the basketball game, overall and for the Fannin County Lady Rebels. Well, that puts a wrap on our girls broadcast for today. I uh, wish we had a happier story for the model fans out there listening tonight, but tonight model is going to fall here at home 59 to 43. And now we start to turn our attention over to the boys side of things as the model blue devils get ready to take on the Fannin County Rebels. And we'll tell you all about it when we come back, but we're going to take a three minute break on the radio and we'll be back on WLAQ in three. 